Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. In a year to celebrate 50 years of marriage, the governor and first lady are calling it quits. News of their divorce filing has been trending on WIAT.com all day. What happened? WIAT 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens has been looking into the divorce of Alabama's first couple. Well, we did get a look at the paperwork earlier today, and Diane Bentley is saying there was, quote, an irretrievable breakdown that was caused by a complete incompatibility of temperament. Now, the pair continues to make public appearances together. Now, this is video of earlier today. Governor Bentley and his wife at the governor's mansion in Montgomery. They appeared together for College Colors Day, and they have been married, of course, for 50 years this year. Paperwork filed by Diane Bentley says there is a, quote, conflict of personalities that makes the possibility of reconciliation futile. The state legislature is getting ready to go into special session to hammer out a budget, and now one legislator is calling for the governor to take a step back from the entire process. He's totally ineffective right now. He has no way to be effective now right now because of the fact that he's got a crisis. We need someone, again, who knows the legislative process, who can work with us and help us fashion a budget during this critical time. We just got a statement a few moments ago from the governor's office saying, quote, the governor asks that you respect the privacy of the Bentley family during this difficult time, and they declined further comment. Now, the position of the first lady is not a legal title. Political experts I spoke to say it will likely be up to the governor what role Diane Bentley will play in the future. Live in the studio, Brittany Bevins, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.